In my last video, I talked about the oxidative stability, amount of antioxidants and level of refinement of oils that you should be focusing on instead of their smoke point. Just a recap that olive and avocado oils have better oxidative stability than canola or vegetable oil. In today's video, I'll talk about coconut oil, sunflower oil and peanut oil. First, let's take a look at coconut oil. You can get both virgin and refined coconut oil and they both are solid at room temperature. Coconut oil is high in saturated fatty acids. In fact, it is high in lauric acid, a distinctive type of saturated fat that is rarely found in other foods. Because of this, it is resistant to oxidation at high heat and that makes it a stable cooking oil. Thus, it is good for cooking at high heat like frying. As a matter of fact, one study showed that coconut oil was still stable after 8 hours of deep frying. It can also be used in salads, coffee or cooking at very low temperature. A word of caution here is that as coconut oil is high in saturated fat, you should consume it in moderation. Now let's take a look at sunflower oil. So most sunflower oils sold on the market are highly refined. There are four types of sunflower oil available in the United States. Some are higher in linoleic acid and some are higher in oleic acid. Linoleic acid is commonly known as omega-6 fatty acid and we all know that it promotes inflammation. Oleic acid is omega-9 fatty acid which is a monounsaturated fat. They both react differently to heat during cooking and so they may have different effect on your health. All sunflower oils contain vitamin E that helps prevent cells from age-related damage. Some studies suggest that consuming sunflower oil high in omega-9 fatty acid in place of saturated fats may help reduce the risk of heart disease by lowering the bad cholesterol and raising the good cholesterol. However, more research is needed to confirm. Unfortunately, most grocery stores sell sunflower oils high in omega-6 and overconsumption of omega-6 can lead to bad effect on your health. People use sunflower oil in frying as it has a high smoke point, however, it could be bad as it releases highest amount of aldehydes, which are toxic compounds that can damage DNA cells and thus contribute to conditions like heart disease and Alzheimer's. Therefore, if you do like the taste of sunflower oil, then use the one that is expeller pressed as it is not heavily processed and it is way better than the traditional sunflower oil. You can use it for gentle, low heat cooking methods such as stir frying. Now let's talk about peanut oil. You can find different types of peanut oils like refined, cold pressed, gourmet and peanut oil blends. If you watch my videos, you know what refined, cold pressed and oil blends are, but you may wonder what gourmet peanut oil is. So it is a speciality oil that is unrefined and usually roasted and thus it has stronger flavor than the refined oil. Peanut oil is one of the most commonly used oils for frying as it has a high smoke point, but is it healthy? It contains saturated as well as mono and polyunsaturated fats. The main type of monounsaturated fat found in peanut oil is omega-9 and then there's good amount of polyunsaturated fat which is omega-6 and again we all know that it tends to cause inflammation and has been linked to various health problems. Another concern with polyunsaturated fat is that it is less stable at high temperatures and thus it could be a poor choice for cooking at high heat. Peanut oil would be good in salads, marinades or cooking at a low temperature. Now we all know that extra virgin olive oil has turned out to be the most stable oil when heated followed by coconut oil and avocado oil. Remember refined oils have their own disadvantages that we cannot ignore but if you do use refined oil for frying try not to use the same oil again and again as it has toxic byproducts that could be detrimental to your health. Avoid oils that have been refined, bleached or deodorized aka RBD oils. So which oil do you mostly use for cooking? What's your favorite oil? Let us know in the comment box below. We would love to hear from you. While you're here on the page, please give us a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, I wish you good health.